Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about when of gallium and urismal malformation in the gene. Terminology. When of gallium and urismal malformation is a condition of high flow arteriovenous fistula between deep choroidal artery and median prosencephaly vein. Markovsky. Not actually a neurism of true, true van of gallium, which failed to form because of fistula. Most common signs and symptoms. Neonate, high output CHL, cranial bruise. Infant, macrocrania, seizure, or neurocognitive delay. Older children, adults, usually compensated, may present with hemorrhage. Other signs and symptoms, developmental delay, failure to slide, hydrocephalus, seizure, headache, hepatic failure. Demographic A. Neonatal period is most common, but may, but many are now identified on routine fetal ultrasound. Rarely diagnosis after three years old. Sex. Male to female is two to one. Epidemiology. Most common extra cardiac cause of eyes are put Heart failure in newborn. Imaging two major goals of imaging: assess degree of brain injury, define awareness of gallium aneurysm malformation architecture to help plan hemoembolization. Some degree of ventricular megaly is typical. Decreases of Resorption due to venous hypertension, chronic volume loads, obstruction from compression of tectum, venous output stenosis affect and organ damage, sigmoid sugular stenosis, protect heart, injury brain, classification system for venous of gallium and small malformation. Choroidal type, multiple primitive choroidal artery pass through, nidus before entry, MPV, moral type 1 or more, direct AV fistula within wall of MPV. This is a ultrasound in a neonate with heart failure, so a large white vascular lesion. The two blood flow located in the region of MPV, characteristic of when of gallium aneurysm malformation. C2 amount in the same patient, so markedly related MPV and persistent with enlarged feeding artery including basilar and internal carotid artery. In this case, multiple feeding artery fistulae directly into the wall of palm PV consistent with moral time. Again, this is the ultrasound in a neonate with high output cardiac failure. So a midline and a coit region also visible are the enlarged lateral ventricle and thin heterogeneous parenchyma. This finding are suspicious for venous of gallium and urismal malformation with significant brain injury. Same patient in Doppler ultrasound. 
So to blend vascular flow centrally, essentially confirming the diagnosis of a vein of gallium and urethral malformation. CDMIA with contrast in a newborn with high output cardiac failure, so in light choroidal and pericolosal artery feeding, a light MPV, and state sinus, no venous outflow stenosis is identified. T2MR in a neonate with high output cardiac failure, so a light dilated MPV, so voice as well as a light feeding choroidal artery, and a light anterior cerebral artery, consistent with a vein of gallium and your small malformation. Treatment. Contraindication to treatment in intractable heart failure, multi system organ failure, or severe brain damage, and presentation. Treatment in neonatal period is based upon visor neonatal average score. 21 point system based on up, up cardiac phi, cerebral phi, respiratory phi, hepatic 3, renal 3, high score good function, low score poor function. Less than 8, no treatment. 8 to 12, emergency embolization. More than 12, medical management, initial followed by delay. In the last session, I for six medical therapy for heart failure and tear four to six months away. Trans catheter embolization, treatment for hydrocephalus is controversial. Thank you.